All right, here's how to make a real winter warmer. First, you're gonna need a gas stove, and then you're gonna need a stack of cash. 50s and 100s are best. I love the 100s, they burn a little brighter. Simply, get your $100 note, whack it in some tongs, and then turn on the gas stove. I think we're out of gas. If you listen to gas corporations in Australian media, you could be forgiven for thinking that we're all gonna go cold or broke or disappoint our parents because we just don't have enough gas. And many of the solutions in Australian media, particularly by those outlets that are owned by mining companies, is to drill for more gas. This way. Here's the thing. Australia has so much gas, it's actually one of the gassiest producers of gas in the world. We're right up there with the United States of America, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar. Australia is essentially gasophile Dundee. So, why is it so expensive? Well, 80% of the gas that Australia produces goes straight to the exporter, and the biggest consumer of gas in Australia, get this, is the gas corporations themselves. It takes a lot of gas to turn gas in the ground into liquid gas so we can export it on a boat overseas powered by another fossil fuel, oil. By the way, if you have liquid gas, you should see a doctor. And when it comes to supply in the domestic market, gas corporations have all the same similar sob stories. Oh, whoopsie, oh, we're all out of gas. Oh, yeah, we keep sending all of it to Asia. All of it, all the time. And there's just nothing left except for all these super profits. Oh, bummer. I guess we'll have to frack the Beetaloo Basin, or else. Or else, was that a threat? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just saying nice UNESCO World Heritage Worthy sites you got there. It would be a real shame if someone were to exploit them. Uh, yeah, that's a threat. Gas corporations don't care about Australians because of the 10 LNG projects in Australia, four are owned by overseas interests, and six have Australian ownership of between two and 16%. That's tiny. You can't even tell there's any Australian stuff in there. Do you really think these gas corporations actually care about Australians and how hot our showers are? Oh, hey, little buddy. Of course we care. I love Austria. Australia. Yeah, Austria. Look, it wasn't funny in Dumb and Dumber, and it's not funny now. Dude, you wrote it. Whatever. And here's the thing, there's no incentive for them to give us any of our own gas back. Over the past seven years, five of Australia's largest gas companies made $138 billion in revenue. $138 billion! That is a lot of money. And how much tax did they pay on that? Oh, nothing. Zip. Nada. Zilch. Or as you would say in Austria, nine, mate! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, I may not pay tax, but you sure as hell give them your tax. The federal government gave the oil and gas sector $976 million in public subsidies last year. You know what they always say? You gotta spend money to lose money. And the biggest losers in this game are you and me. Things have gotten so bad that the gas industry is building LNG import terminals right over there. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Australia might have to re-import its own gas from Asia because Australia can't send it to Australia. <laughs> Let that sink in. Like that boat over there. You okay? Have fun. So why is it so profitable? Well, the gas corporations did a deal to sell gas at 2002 prices for 30 years without putting any gas aside for everyday Australians. This means the gas that Australians do use is subject to international price shocks. And if the gas corporations get their way, they'll be developing even more gas projects that we're going to be paying through the nose through, all to make the world a less safe place. It's a bit like tobacco companies saying the way to stop lung cancer is to smoke more cigarettes. Oh, thank you. Australia is being held hostage to gas, a fossil fuel that is 80 times worse for climate change than carbon dioxide, a substance that actually harms our health when we burn it in our homes, and perhaps most disturbingly, it's a funny word, gas. But there is a way out of this hostage situation. All we have to do is keep our remaining gas in the ground and move to renewables as quickly as possible. That way Australia can be energy independent and basically run the entire country on a commodity that is essentially free. Hey buddy, who are you calling cheap? No, I, I said you were free. Oh, that does sound better.
Yeah, it is better. Oh yeah. Mmm, I love the smell of burning polymers in the morning. It smells like being trapped in a system that's slowly going to kill us all. Unless, of course, the governments of the world stop funding fossil fuels and opening up coal and gas mines. <laughs> now, if you're watching this on TikTok, that's a uh, Apocalypse Now reference. You can Google it or ask someone who looks like all hope has been drained from their face. <laughs>